All right, boys and girls. Whoa, Fred, Fred, it's okay. I am showing you Fred, okay? Here's Fred. Fred has gotten big, and I wanted you to see Fred up close. Now look, do you see Fred's waddle on top of her head? You see, not her waddle, I'm sorry, her comb on top of her head? The little pointy thing? I'd point to it, but I don't want to let her go. And then do you see the waddle under her face? See that red thing under her mouth? No, Fred, calm down. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. And see her waddle under her mouth? That is her waddle. And she has so many feathers now, and she is so big. She is not a chick anymore. I can't just hold her in one little hand. Look at her. <gasps> Look how big she is. Can you believe they got that big? Now, I'm going to go put her back in her... Um, brooder box. She's outside with me um, today so they could explore a little bit, but she's got her heat lamp because it's still kind of chilly. And I don't think she's happy with me holding her. So I'm going to go put her back in her box. Say bye, Fred. All right, I'm back. I think I made Fred a little mad at me. She was like, I don't want to be on the TV right now, but it's okay. Um, I wanted you to see how big she's gotten, okay? Now, that was the first part of our um, science lesson, okay? A little update on the chickens. Now, the next part of our lesson is going to be about our plants, okay? Now, I've seen a lot of your um, pictures of your plants. I've seen pictures of Caroline's cucumber um not the plant, but that she was planting it. I know Jace's sunflowers are coming up and Olivia showed me that her plants are starting to grow. So we're all going to make an observation of our plants right now. Now, you need to get your plant journal and I want you to go to one of the pages that says seed observations. You may have already drawn a picture on it and that's fine. You can flip on the back or you can go to your second page. There should be two pages that say seed observations. I'm gonna go get my plant for this, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. Here's Miss Thompson's plant. Now let's look at this up close. I'm gonna make my video bigger. I wish I had made it bigger for Fred, but I was afraid to um <laughs> I was afraid to let go <laughs> and use my mouse. I didn't want to drop her on the table. Okay, so look at my cup. Here's my cup and here's my soil. But guys, do I have anything growing yet? No, my pepper plant is not growing yet. So today when I draw my picture, I cannot draw a plant. You're going to draw what you really see. If you still don't see a plant, don't draw a plant. If you do see a plant, you can draw that and label it. So, Miss Thompson, got to move this. Okay, so I'm going to draw my cup first. I'm going to use gray because it's a clear cup. So I'm going to draw my cup. And then I'm going to draw my soil. So I need some brown for my soil or black. And here's my soil. And I have no plant yet to draw. So I can't draw a plant. But I am going to label this. So I'm going to write, I'm going to use blue. So I'm going to label this as a cup so that if somebody is looking at this, they know that this is a cup. And then what's this black stuff? Yeah, that's the soil. Soy, yeah, sounds like a Y. Soy, oh, that's my soil. And then, um, now, I cannot draw a plant. You know, I don't have a plant to draw. If you do, draw your little sprout and label it as sprout. Um, and this is um, a pepper. P, 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 eh, eh. Got that short E. Pep. Er, it ends with R. Pepper. That's my pepper plant. There's just nothing growing. So I would make sure, and I could put the date so that people know, or I know when I'm looking back, that on this day, there was no plant. So today is um, April 
24th. So I would put um, the right in April. April looks like this. And you can look in your calendar to see how to spell April if you forgot. April 24th, right? That was the date we did today in calendar. So now I did a really good observation. I have my name of my plant, I have my date, and I have what I see, okay? Now I'll remember that on April 24th, Miss Thompson had nothing growing still. And this has been out in the sun, and I have been watering it. So maybe it's just sometimes plants take a little while. So I'm going to keep waiting, okay? But that's how you do an observation like a scientist. You draw what you see. You notice I didn't make my cup red and draw my soil purple. I don't have purple soil, and I don't even have a red cup. And if your plant is a cucumber plant and it's green, you need to draw it green. Don't draw your plants, you know, blue. You don't have a blue plant unless it has a blue flower on it. So that's what scientists do, okay? They draw an observation, which is what they really see. All right, so now you got an update on the chickens and you got to see Fred and you got to talk about how to be a scientist. Great job on your, um, your learning about plants. Keep your plant within the sunshine and keep watering it. And hopefully if yours hasn't grown like Miss Thompson's, it'll grow soon. All right. Bye, my scientists.